System Center Operation Manager 2007 R2. How to install it? To make the installation easier, I have created a domain admin account named SCOM SQL Admin. I will log on with this account to the server where I install SCOM 2007 R2. Any installation starts with the pre-requirement check. This is made for System Center Operation Manager 2007 through the use of the installation interface. Let's see what is missing at the pre-requirements check. We see that more pre-requirements have the status failed. We will start the installation of each pre-requirement and the first one that we will install is at the SQL Server 2008. We launch the setup wizard and we choose installation new SQL server standalone installation. We will follow the installation steps of the wizard. At the feature selection, we will select database engine service, reporting service and the management tools. To make the installation easier for the SQL server agent, database engine and reporting services, we will use the domain account that we created. For the production environment, it is recommended to use different accounts with lower privileges. For the SQL Server Administrators, we will use the same account. We will follow the steps from the wizard until the installation is ended. After the SQL installation is finished, we will check again the pre-requirements for the SCOM 2007 R2. We see that SQL Server requirement is still failed. If we go to more, we see that uh, service pack 1 needs to be uninstalled. We go to the Microsoft website and download the service pack 1 update. After the download is finished, we will install the update. The service pack 1 update is easy to be installed. You only follow the wizard and click next. When the install is ready, we will recheck the pre-requirements for SCOM 2007 and we will see that the SQL requirement is ok. The rest of the pre-requirements will be presented in the next videos. Thank you for watching.